Long time ago, near the bank of a river, there lived a milkman. His name was Tony. Every day, he used to go and sell his milk in a town. His milk was always pure. His customers appreciated him for his pure milk. In those days, milk was not so expensive. Tony had to work very hard to earn his livelihood. One day, his brother-in-law came to his house. He was a clever and deceitful person. He said to Tony, Why don't you mix water into your milk? Everyone does the same. Holding his ears with his hands and pressing his tongue between his teeth, Tony replied, No, I can never be dishonest. I won't do this at all. His brother-in-law tried to convince him. Oh, brother, it's not a sin. It is a way to earn more money. And when you earn more money, you can get more happiness for your family. Then I will be able to wear expensive sari. Children will eat rice curd. They will be able to fulfill their desires. Suggested Tony's wife to make her brother's point stronger. Tony had to agree to their suggestion and accept the new way of earning money. He started mixing water into his milk. Initially, he used less water, but afterwards, he started using half milk and half water. Customers were still unaware about this adulteration. Such was his image as an honest milk seller. Tony's earning increased. He was now a rich man. One day, his wife asked him to buy clothes for everyone from the market in the nearby town. On the way, he felt hungry. Before eating, he thought to take a bath in the river flowing nearby. He kept his clothes and bag full of coins on a safe place. After taking the bath, he ate his food. He rested for a while. And when he was about to go, he saw his bag was missing. Suddenly, he saw a monkey on the tree, which had taken the possession of the bag. Tony tried to scare it by throwing a stone on it. The monkey also responded and threw the coins towards him. Coins scattered everywhere on the ground. Many of the coins also fell into the river. He somehow gathered the coins from the ground. But he could not get the coins, which fell into the water. Now, he counted the acquired coins. It was only half of the total coins. Tony cried a lot. But he had to be satisfied with the remaining coins. He knew that he would not be able to purchase clothes for his children. He realized that earning of water had sunk into the water. This was the God's way to teach him the lesson of honesty. 
He vowed never to be dishonest again. Moral One should always remember that honesty is the best policy.